coming up on this edition of Access Virginia Beach. Despite the rain, thousands celebrate the 100th anniversary of naval aviation at the Oceana Air Show. And one local teacher got the ride of his life when he earned a coveted seat with the legendary Blue Angels. Plus, the police department wants to make sure your Halloween is a spooky and safe one. That and more coming up as we access Virginia Beach. Hello and welcome to VBTV's Access Virginia Beach, a program that informs you of news and events from around our city and schools. I'm Mickey Aceto. Thanks for joining us. Despite some less than favorable weather conditions, the 53rd Naval Air Station Oceana Air Show got off the ground with thousands of faithful fans helping to celebrate the 100th anniversary of naval aviation. And many came prepared for the weather. Large multicolored umbrellas dotted the flight line and bleachers, and many spectators avoided the rain with their trusty ponchos. Despite low cloud cover and showers that shortened and even canceled many demonstrations, spectators got an up-close look at an AV-8 Harrier from the Marine Corps Air Station in Cherry Point, North Carolina. The jet's maneuverability drew applause as it demonstrated its ability to come to a stop in midair and even fly in reverse. The soggy crowd was also rewarded by the fiery pops from the shockwave jet truck. While the wet weather prevented a high-speed run across the tarmac, the crowd did get to feel the blast from the jet engines. And while the rain may have wreaked havoc on a majority of the air show, it did not stop one teacher from Cox High School who got the chance of a lifetime to ride with the legendary Blue Angels. Lieutenant Tickle, 1,500 flight hours, so you have nothing to worry about today. He will do everything in his power to land this aircraft safely. That aircraft they're talking about is a multi-million dollar F-18 fighter jet, and this lucky teacher, Robert Jameson, has earned a coveted seat on it. Feeling a little nervous after hearing about the bonus ride or bonus flight, whatever that might have been called at that point. But I'm excited, I'm ready to go. It should be good. After a very important safety briefing. Anything that's yellow and black will either make you leave the aircraft or make things fall off the aircraft. So we want to remain hands off throughout the, this whole flight, all right? Jameson headed out to the tarmac while family and friends anxiously waited. I am a little nervous. Um, you know, we just got married, so it's a little nervous seeing him go up in a jet. Once airborne, Jameson experienced everything from rapid rolls. Ready, One, two, wow, that was cool. To flying upside down. All right, Bobby, here we go. They even pulled 7.1 Gs. Squeeze those legs, take a deep breath. Ready, hit it. Once safely on the ground, the Cox High School guidance counselor was presented with a souvenir. Although, I'm sure he'll never forget this ride. That's Hopefully awesome. you, you'll uh, accept this and take this back with you and uh, display it somewhere proudly. Definitely. Thank right, you perfect. very much. All right, well, thank, thank you for coming out with us. So, what did he think? I'm feeling fun. I didn't pass out, so, uh, <laughs> and that's on tape. But, uh, no, it was an amazing experience. Robert Jameson is the guidance director for Cox High School. He was nominated to fly with the Blue Angels by an admiral in the Navy for having helped out his daughter when she transferred into the school. And those pilots were quite busy. They also squeezed in some time to speak with students at several beach high schools. We're here to sort of share our experience with you guys, both in the Blue Angels and the Navy. Lieutenant Rob Curley has been a Blue Angels pilot since 2009. This day's mission was to inspire the students at First Colonial High School. Every Friday morning we get to sp our, spend our mornings with high schools and, and hospitals and share our experience both in the Navy and the Blue Angels and hopefully, hopefully inspire the next generation to go out and do great things. Success and challenges are to be expected in any career that these kids aspire to. Something that's near and dear to my heart because it, it took me uh, a couple times to get to where I was and where I am today. And uh, you, know, you have to overcome a lot of challenges to, to be successful in life and to keep moving forward. And, and I really like to share that with the high school kids. Training is the top priority for these revered airmen. Knowing the local landscape can prevent tragedies such as the recent air show crash in Reno, Nevada. 
we practiced in Pensacola, Florida, our home base, on Tuesday and Wednesday. And when we get into town, we'll fly up here Thursday morning. And the first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to go fly over over the city where we're doing the air show for about 45 minutes to an hour. And we're looking for obstructions, things that are going to be in our way, towers, buildings. We're looking for our checkpoints because we want that show to take place in front of the crowd right at show center. The program included a presentation from a Blue Angels technician as well as a 15-minute video about the squadron. Students even had an opportunity to ask questions. The pilots also visited Cox High School and several other schools around the area. In today's tough economy, it can be a struggle trying to stay afloat financially, but the City of Virginia Beach, in partnership with the Financial Planning Association of Hampton Roads, is hosting a first-of-its-kind Financial Planning Day. And this is an opportunity for residents of Virginia Beach to come together and hear about the potentials for them for saving additional monies in these hard times, avoiding foreclosures, and to give people some idea of what they can do for the future. The event takes place on Saturday, October 22nd. Simply drop by the Virginia Beach Convention Center anytime between 9 a.m. and 3 p.m. for this free event designed to help you manage your finances. First, they'll be able to hear Betsy Duke. Uh, Betsy Duke is a governor for the Federal Reserve Board, and she's also a native of Virginia Beach, and she'll be talking about uh, the economy in general and the importance of financial planning. Um, next, they'll be able to get information from different booths of vendors that will be there. Uh, third, they'll be able to learn topics in financial courses and be able to ask questions of instructors about their general situation. And then most importantly, they'll be able to meet with a certified financial planner professional for about 15 minutes to talk about their specific financial situations. All financial planners are participating as volunteers and will not be selling products or services. For more information or to register online, log on to financialplanningday.org slash Virginia Beach. The Department of Parks and Recreation has a plan for you ladies who, well, get tired of watching college football with your husbands every Saturday. You can hit the bullseye too by heading out to Munden Point Park on Saturday, October 15th. A day full of fun activities is planned designed to empower you ladies with new adventure skills. Outdoor Beach Women Day is a day for women to connect with activities in the open air. Females aged 16 and above can learn archery basics and the fundamentals of target archery. Interested in improving your fishing skills? A fly casting course will provide hands-on instruction for fly tying your flies. Paddle under your arm like that. You ready? And if you'd rather be in the water, paddling techniques and safety issues will be discussed during an introduction to kayaking. There are plenty of opportunities and the fun begins at 9 a.m. Be bold and get away from football Saturdays. Learn the fundamentals of outdoor recreation and education from local experts in a series of events during this fun and exciting day. Registration is limited and must be submitted by October 7th. Forms can be found at the website listed on your screen or you can call 385-4461. Coming up next on this edition of Access Virginia Beach, we'll show you how to protect yourself from identity theft. Plus, you've heard of world peace, but what about world peace? See how these pinwheels for peace are making a difference. That and more are coming up when we return. Virginia Beach School's Parent Connection is your one-stop resource for information and events which support families and promote student success. If you're parenting a child with special needs, this class is for you. On October 13, 930 to 11 at the CHKD Center at Princess Anne, learn tips and tricks for parenting your special needs child. Look at the realities of parenting a child with disabilities and or health challenges, impact on the family unit, strategies for responding effectively to different behaviors, and how to effectively support your child's ability to cope. Call 668-7000 to register. On October 19th, you can join the Parent Connection Technology Academy to find out how to purchase computers and accessories. The class will be held from 7 to 9 p.m. at the Advanced Technology Center. Find out what computer would be the best for your family and see the options that are available out there. Get a jump on your holiday shopping. Call 263-1936 to register. 
To learn more about these activities or to see a complete calendar of events, visit the Parent Connection page of vbschools.com. Any questions? Uh, what kind of service plan does this come with? Unlimited. Can I keep my same phone number? Does it have a camera? What's the warrant? Can I put my party shuffle on this? Any questions? No. For the 10 questions everyone should know, go to ahrq.gov. Welcome back to Access Virginia Beach. I'm Nikki Asato. There are hundreds of scams out there that swindle consumers out of their hard-earned money. And the city wants to make sure that you're protected. To help spread awareness, here's Macy Pridgen with more. Hello, I'm Macy Pridgen, Public Information Officer for the Virginia Beach Commonwealth Attorney's Office. The Federal Trade Commission estimates that close to 9 million Americans are victims of identity theft every year. Skilled identity thieves can gain access to your personal information by rummaging through your trash, pilfering your mail, and using skimmers to steal credit and debit card numbers. Some thieves will even steal your purse, wallet, or personnel records from your workplace. Once they get your personal information, thieves can open up credit cards in your name, run up huge bills, and ruin your credit history. They can establish phone, electric, and cable services. They can even open up bank accounts in your name and write bad checks on that account. By cloning your ATM card, thieves can make large withdrawals and take out loans. They may even file fraudulent tax returns or get medical services. So how can you protect yourself from identity theft? Shred any paperwork that contains financial or personal information. Never carry more credit cards than you need and cancel any you don't use. Check your statements often. Keep your purse and wallet secure when in public. Don't carry your social security card with you and keep personal and financial information in a secure place at home. When traveling, suspend delivery of your mail and newspaper or have a friend pick them up for you. And finally, keep your computer secure by using firewalls or antivirus software. Never click on links sent in unsolicited emails. If you believe you are a victim of identity fraud, you should file a police report and contact the fraud department of each company where you believe a fraudulent account was opened. Also, report it to the Federal Trade Commission. For more information, visit ftc.gov slash ID theft or call 1-877-ID-THEFT. This message was brought to you by the Office of the Commonwealth's Attorney, keeping citizens informed because forewarned is forearmed. The Virginia Beach Oceanfront attracts more than 3.5 million visitors per year. And it's important that the city not only provides tourists and residents with great memories, but a safe trip as well. And with the help of the police department's second precinct, they are able to do just that. Located in the heart of the resort area on 17th Street, officers from the second police precinct provide protection, assistance, and information to residents and tourists daily. We utilize a, a um variety of police assets to assist us, all the way from uh, uh, the simple bicycle and motorcycle to the mounted patrol. The Marine Patrol assists us. The, uh, we have a helicopter, in fact we have two helicopters that assist us. And our mission at the 2nd Precinct, especially at the oceanfront, is more than just public safety. More than 100 officers are stationed at the 2nd Precinct, but keeping everyone safe is more than just policing. Virginia Beach is and has typically been for the past 20 years the safest city our size in the country. And we are the safest city that size because of the relationship we have with the community. And to strengthen that bond with the community, the Police Department's Second Precinct, in partnership with Virginia Beach Human Rights Commission and the Citizens Advisory Committee, is hosting an open house. Let's open the front doors of the precinct and demonstrate to the community what we do inside this house. So, they're rolling out the welcome mat on Saturday, October 22nd from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. with a free open house. The fire department, EMS, and public libraries, along with several other city and private companies, will be on site with demos, activities, and plenty of free door prizes. The event that we're hosting is going to provide the citizens the opportunity to meet with the police officers, to meet with community leaders, and to learn what's happening and what services are offered in this community so that they're better aware and better able to help themselves when the need arises. Through events like the Open House, the police department is hoping to make the community a safer place to work and live. The date again for the Open House is Saturday, October 22nd. And all the fun takes place at the 2nd Precinct, located on 820 Virginia Beach Boulevard. And it is free and open to the public. 
Halloween is right around the corner and the police department wants to make sure you and your family are safe. Here's this month's crime prevention tip. It takes desire, ability, and opportunity for a criminal to take advantage of you. Eliminating the opportunity is your first step toward protecting yourself. As Halloween approaches, it is time to think about ways to keep your children safe while trick-or-treating. While out, make safety your number one priority. Children should always trick-or-treat with a parent, and they should never enter a home to receive their treat. Also, make sure children know their own address and city of residence. While walking from home to home, stick to well-lit streets, have your route planned out, and always carry a flashlight. Only visit homes that have their front porch lights on. And parents, before your children dive into their Halloween loot, go through all of their candy and make sure it's safe to eat. Above all, be alert. Protect yourself. Don't give crime a chance. This tip is brought to you by the Virginia Beach Police Department's Crime Prevention Unit. Middle school students looking for a career in the sciences, math, engineering, or technology fields got a treat recently as an all-day STEM career conference was held at Corporate Landing Middle. He's got a little ridge above his eyes that tells me it's a man. 456th, 7th, and 8th grade students, including some from Bayside Middle, participated in the conference. Our school is involved in a STEM initiative. We started last year with selected teachers to provide them with some professional development on teaching kids how to use science, technology, engineering, and mathematics to solve real-world problems. Professional development was held for selected teachers last year, and the conference provided the opportunity to share what they learned with students. When flowing from over here, this ends up pointed into the wind, and then that tells you what direction. Hands-on breakout sessions kept students interested in a variety of fields. Uh, yes, I believe it will have an impact because I, I, when I grew up, I wanted to be a basketball player, and if I don't make that, I would think about having a second choice. Providing info about career aspirations at the middle school level makes students aware of choices and classes they can take to help make their dream jobs come true. If we are to encourage these students to pursue science, technology, engineering, and math, we must do it at the middle school level. We must provide information and opportunities in order that they not only understand but know the courses and the classwork that's required to move into those careers. 26 breakout sessions featuring professional presenters in STEM careers highlighted initiatives in the division's strategic plan. We're, we're realizing that part of our school division's um, strategic plan, Compass of 2015, focuses on critical thinking, problem solving, um, allowing kids to be innovative, creative. And so we're really just tapping into that and going in line with Compass of 2015 and bringing in all the, comp all the content areas to allow them to solve those problems. Critical thinking and problem solving are just two components of the school division's strategic plan. To find out more about Compass to 2015, log on to vbschools.com. When it comes to studying music, one of the most effective ways to learn is to bring in the experts. And at one local middle school, that's exactly what they did. At the bottom of the page, and where it says two. Internationally known composer Douglas Townsend made a special stop at Salem Middle School. I wanted to provide my students with a unique opportunity and a deeper understanding of our music. So we actually, all the pieces that we were preparing for assessment, we contacted all of the composers. I did via email. The students and famous composer quickly became pen pals, but Mr. Townsend took the relationship one step further and honored the entire class with a composition he personally delivered. Never thought it would, he would be able to come, thought he would be more busy to take his time away from his busy life to come see us. As a result of the visit, several students now have a great role model to inspire them. It really connected them and brought them closer to the music. They wanted to do better. Um, and I think some of them are actually interested in trying their hand at writing their own music. Mr. Townsend's career has spanned seven decades. He has composed symphonies, ballet music, film scores, and much more. He spent three days with the students at Salem Middle School, and I bet you they soaked up every minute of it. The month of September is well known for Labor Day holiday, the first day of school, and the last day of summer. But did you know that International Day of Peace is also celebrated during the month?
All right, sweetheart, can you reach up there and put it up? White Oaks Elementary did, and they celebrated the holiday by decorating the halls with pinwheels for peace. The reason why we made these is to represent Peace Day is because Peace Day is very important. Um, it shows a lot of people to care for Peace Day, do great things on this day, and, you know, stop fighting. Students made more than 250 pinwheels, but they represent much more than just fancy artwork. Peace, um, quiet, no, f like, no fighting. The project hopes to inspire good citizenship and intolerance of bullying. Open that will remind them and maybe like say they're doing something wrong. When they see these, maybe they'll do something better than doing something bad. International Day of Peace is officially celebrated on September 21st. Schools around the globe participated and last year more than 3.5 million pinwheels were spinning around the world. And with that, we've come to the end of our show. But if you've missed something or would like to see it again, you can view this program online. Log on to vbgov.com media, then under the All Categories button, find and click on Access Virginia Beach. For everyone here at VBTV, I'm Nikki Aceto. Thanks for watching.